I don't feel like it's over. Really? I, I I do think I, Mets fans feel similarly doom and gloom as I feel like about the Dolphins, where really? you are just you're always prepared for bad things to happen. Well, because I, they usually do happen, except for the one year where they didn't happen in 1986. Other than that, it always happens. I mean, Mets fans and Jet fans, they're right. the for same me, creature. It, it, it's the condition. If you're a Jet fan, you're a Met fan. You've been through some tough times. It's the condition of supporting the B teams in New York, right? Not, yes. to, not to be overly harsh about it, but... They're the, the J- B-teams in New York. Right, Correct. like, th- yes. there's a condition that comes with that. You just sort of assume the worst. You assume the Jets will be bad. You assume the Islanders will be bad. You assume that all of the B-teams in New York will be bad. And you're sort of bracing for it before it's even happened. It's a weird city in this respect. The Giants have won a bunch of Super Bowls. The Jets have won one. Um, the Islanders have won four Stanley Cups in my lifetime. Went to five straight. Won four straight. And yet the Rangers are the biggest story in town by a lot. The one Stanley Cup they won. The Islanders won four in a row. The one cup that Messier won for the Rangers was a much bigger deal than the Islanders winning four in a row. So, yeah, like rooting for those B teams is is super difficult. And they're and all then, your favorites? You only, uh, you like. I'm uh, a B team guy, you're, yeah. You're the yeah, uh, B team. Yeah. You're all B team things. Should really, have ado- should really have adopted the Brooklyn Nets as a result. Um, no, uh, hates well, Kevin Durant too much. He's compromised there. Uh, well, I, growing up, it was it was in New Jersey. They played in New Jersey, so it was Kittles and Jason Kidd and those guys. They went to the finals a couple of years, but no, that was never an option. Stugatz, for me. you, uh, I have not been able to tell Billy. Can you tell me whether you can tell whether Stugatz has just been at dead shows and moving his kids, so he hasn't been that interested in the Mets season because of laziness and indifference, or because they broke in his heart so many times that the couple of times. We have engaged him on the Mets. He's doomsdaying because he thinks they're doomed to lose to the Padres in the playoffs, and he's going to get his heart broken again. Well, Which he's, one's the he's truth? saying he's saying that he doesn't feel that way. That he doesn't think this. The weird thing about it is the Mets have the exact same record as the Yankees right now. I know they're gonna. They could if they win two games, they're going to win a hundred games on the season. Yep. And, and they should. They're playing Washington to wrap up the uh, to wrap up the season. But the feeling is like like the season was a disappointment with a hundred wins. That's crazy. No, the season's a disappointment when you lead the division the entire season, yeah, and then at but, the very end you lose it with your staff set up against the Braves. That's the disappointment. But I still think they can beat the Padres. It's baseball, man. But the Braves are really good. I know the Braves are really good. But the Mets are also really good. They're a game worse than the Braves. And so I still feel, I, listen, for me, I feel optimistic. Like, I think they could beat the Padres. I think they could beat the Dodgers. They no. could beat anyone because they have DeGrom and Scherzer. You think they could beat the Dodgers? DeGrom and Scherzer. Yes, they could beat anyone. I mean, they can. It's a good Mets team. It's just baseball. It's just well, that's, anybody. That's Weird the, stuff like the Cardinals can win the World Series. That's really the truth about all of this. Is the Mets could still win. I think the Mets could win the World Series, and Mets fans will still be pissed that they lost the division. <laughs> they might. Yes. That they blew the division lead that they had. Yes. I do like the pivot of scrappy underdog New York Mets that have spent so much freaking oh, money. So much money. Now uh, the pivot is hey, with with the Crom and, and Scherzer, hey, we could beat anybody. Uh, <laughs> Billy, can, we, it could be our year. And at least. Huh? Sneaky good division. Yeah. Three teams in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Who'd have thunk it? Billy, yep. how did you feel last night? Did you tune in instead of Monday no. night football? Did you you didn't tune in to watch the Braves? You you I I thought you love spoiler. I would figure you would be the guy all yeah. for anarchy and sure. Have the Marlins get up four nothing on the Braves and, and shut them out. The thing is, is that I like the role of spoiler, but I don't like the people benefiting from the spoiling <laughs> that's being done. So I'm very conflicted. Right. Uh-huh. Like, I don't like the idea of helping the Phillies make the playoffs. That does absolutely nothing for me. In or fact, helping the me- Mets win a division. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, helping, that's the thing, is like, is it helping the Braves lose the division or helping the Mets win the division? And either one isn't a good option for me. Same thing with, like, making sure the Brewers didn't make the playoffs. Like, cool, but now the Phillies are making the playoffs, and I don't like them either, you know? So there's no good options. The thing is, is that my fandom is largely, and it's great, my fandom largely revolves around hating other teams, you know? Because my team, and and this is like a historic moment that happened last week, my team, the Marlins, just last week, became the team with the worst winning percentage in baseball. The Padres have now 
handed that title over to the Marlins before it was the Padres had the worst winning percentage. Oh, historically ever. You mean now, ever. ever. You mean ever. in the history yeah. of baseball. Yeah, in the history right. of baseball. Yeah. So like it's going to be a battle back this and forth. Week? So you it happened last week, I believe. Yeah. So the Marlins. We should have had a ceremony for you as like the greatest loser, right? The... Well, I mean, it's it's also that's the thing though. It's also like a tricky one because they may as a franchise have the worst winning percentage, but they've won two World Series. So it's like, and they've never won the Wait, division. Not only two, but you, uh, you guys forgot one place, of the Mets ones, but you say a, a, a loser. Well, 86 uh, and 69. Yes, there was I mean, there was 69, but uh, that the Marlins have won as many as the Mets is funny. Yeah, I mean, and they've won more than the Padres. They've won more than a bunch of teams. Since 97, how many teams have won two World Series? I'm guessing not a lot. I'm certain the Yankees no, have. Yes, right. the Giants, the, right. the, the, the Cardinals. Um, I don't think the Dodgers have since 97. No, the the Dodgers have. The Braves haven't because they won the one. I think the Braves have two World Series, right? But they won in 96 or 95. When did they win? So it's, I mean, it's a uh, lot 95, of 95 to beat the Indians. Yeah. It's a lot of winning that they've done in terms of championships, but that's the only winning that they've done, which is like a really strange thing to say. Like when they win, they win. And when they don't, they, they don't, they, they only have one <laughs> playoff round they've won. And it was in the pandemic season, right? Other than the two world oh, series where they won all of was. the, playoff don't get me started. They could have gotten on a run there. If those damn cheating Cubs wouldn't have broken Starling Marte's wrist. Which, by the way, you need him back too, huh? What's his deal? Can he he's grab out. a bat or no, what? No, he's out. He's out for the rest just of the tape season. It, just tape his hand to the bat. It's fine. Like If he can't grip it, just tape his hand to it. What's the big deal? Why Mike, can't you do that? Put a bunch of pine tar on it. Why can't we do that? Mike, I wanted to ask you about something that was happening with the heat. But before I do that, Stugatz, did you see? By the way, to answer your question, the list since 97, the Yankees, the Giants, the Cardinals and the Red Sox. Those are the teams, and the Florida Marlins, the teams who win multiple championships since 1997. So great. Doesn't it give you a it's sense funny. of pride, guys? It is more, more than the Dodgers. It's, it's, 